Moxie and Sparks explain NF1. Hey, Maria. Want to come outside and play kickball? I do, but I can't right now. My mom is getting ready to take me to the doctor's office. Why do you have to go to the doctor so much? It's not fair. It's because I have neurofibromatosis. Huh? You say it like neurofibromatosis. It's called NF for short. What does that mean? Well, um, it's hard to explain. Look, it's Moxie and Sparks! Don't worry, Maria. We know everything there is to know about NF. Want some help explaining it? Okay. I'm gonna have NF my whole life, so I might as well get good at talking about it. That's the right attitude. Come on! There are several different types of neurofibromatosis. Which type do you have, Maria? I have NF1. My parents found out when I was born with these spots. They call them cafe au lait spots because they're brown like coffee. NF1 is the most common type of neurofibromatosis. One in every 3,000 people has NF1. Some people with NF1 get bumps on their skin or inside their body. They're called tumors. Right, Moxie. Neurofibromatosis causes tumors to grow on nerves. A tumor from NF can grow anywhere that there are nerves. But most people with NF1 won't have any serious problems at all. Can you catch it? No one can catch NF from touching or being near a person with it. And neurofibromatosis is not the result of anything the parents of a child with NF did wrong. Lots of the kids who have NF have a hard time in school, which is why it's really important for teachers to know about it, too. Some kids with NF have a hard time learning new things. It's okay to ask for help. Sometimes people with NF have freckling. Or problems with their eyes. Or trouble with their bones. NF can affect any part of the body. NF affects each person who has it differently. Can boys get it, too? It doesn't matter if you're a boy or a girl or what color your skin is, or where you're from. Anyone can be born with NF. Half of the people who have NF inherited it from a parent. Like the way I inherited green eyes from my mom. The other half of the time, a child with NF is the only person in the family who has it. How does that happen? What causes NF is a change in a gene. A gene is a sequence of DNA, which is the genetic information that is passed down from parents to children. So if a parent has it, they can pass it on to their child. But sometimes a gene just changes on its own. Maria, you just explained NF. I guess I know more about NF than I realized. I'm sorry that you have NF, Maria. You don't need to be sorry. I'm used to it. You'll get used to it too. That's why I don't mind going to the doctor because I know they want to keep me healthy and strong. NF is just one thing about Maria, like having brown hair or being able to throw a ball. We're all different. Thanks, Moxie and Sparks. No need to thank us, Maria. Looks like you've got this. You should teach the world all about NF, Maria. Maybe I will, Jackson. Maybe I will. Let's, Let's end, end NF. NF! To be continued at ctf.org. <laughs>